Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. This is the third and final installment of a bunch of fishing reels that I got from a vendor who sells at flea markets. And uh, he's asked me again to see which ones I can service and uh, see which ones can be repaired and resold at a reasonable price. And uh, well, which ones are destined to become parts reels if there's even a demand for them. So I thought uh, we would take a look at this bucket here. There's a whole bunch of reels in there. Let's see what we can find, what it will take, and uh, if it makes any sense to, to try and work on these reels. Uh, this is an unfortunate reel. This is a uh, Tundra. It's an Okuma uh, product. It's a big reel. It's a 80 size reel. It retails for, well, what one ball bearing. It retails for about $20 to $29, I think, maybe $35 or whatever. This is the third reel that I've received now as a Tundra because this screw doesn't hold but it's not the screw it's the shaft inside the screw handle that gets stripped out and I called over to Okuma you can see the, the threads on the screw are fine you can't see in here but this just uh, doesn't hold it just doesn't hold they've all stripped out that's a manufacturing defect I called Okuma to see if I could get replacement handles. Because of the price of the reel, this reel is not supported from a parts standpoint. And uh, well, you're out of luck. So I don't know what to tell you if you've bought one of these other than be very careful as you go to tighten your handle. And uh, if you need parts for it other than a handle, <laughs> there's three of them laying around here at the moment. This is a good one to use as a tuition reel. Go take it apart, see how Okuma made the reel and uh, learn from it, but otherwise uh, that's unfortunate. Here's a, almost a brand new reel with a stripped handle that uh, cannot be serviced. Next up is a good old classic, a uh, Mitchell 302 Garcia. And uh, I'm hearing all kinds of grinding going on in this one. Well, here, here's the issue here. Notice that the spool is not going up and down. So one of the things that can be going on with that is that you have a misinstalled planetary gear in here. More likely, based on what I'm hearing from a noise standpoint, is that the planetary gear, which has two studs to anchor it inside the case, they've probably broken those studs off, and you just have a free-spinning uh, planetary gear that won't hold so that the oscillation gear can move this up and down. Uh, that's a parts reel. I think what we're going to find most of this is that these are parts reels. Here's a Mitchell 300, just cosmetically, it would probably qualify as a good parts reel. No paint here, here on the whole uh, arm. We've got something happened here with the bail. Um, I don't know why it's not stopping, but it's continuing all the way through. Oh, well, that's, that makes why, yeah. This little lever here should be catching on the side with the the uh, spring mechanism here is all uh, not loaded properly, so that, that could be repaired. Pull it in like that with the screw. It may not fire the bail, but it would, uh, would hold it to that position. Well, we'll see. Maybe I can get that one. Here's a, uh, one of these reels that I generally call a, uh, um, a no-name reel. This is a Korean-made reel by Pinnacle. It's not Pinnacle's no-name, but Pinnacle and Silster towards the end merged as a company. Never had parts support for their reels. This one is a bait feeder reel. Well, I'm going to guess this is a manual bait feeder click. And I'm not seeing which one's on, which one's off. That says drag on. Okay, we're locked in the shaft. You know what, this one actually may, may be able to be saved. You're not going to find the, the button for this one, which is typically common of these types of reels. But that's it. Here's a uh, Shakespeare. These are fun. These are the LX's, I think. Yeah, LX3. It's just one of those generational things. This one's stuck and broken. It doesn't even make sense to try and open that one up. At best, you could sell that reel for ten dollars, and you can spend fifteen or twenty dollars trying to figure it out. South Bend is the same thing; no parts support for these reels. Generally speaking, no ball bearings. Uh, there's a lot going on in this reel here. The, the 
spool is turning. I got that bang bail, it doesn't have a spring release. Let's we'll see if I can help him out. If he finds a small pole for that, then maybe he can work on it. This looks like the sister. A lot of these low end reels are designed as first time fishing reels. Uh, this one's made in China, no line guide on it. Stuck, broken. Uh, child's reel. Uh, sometimes we call them child's reel. I prefer to call them uh, first time reels. And uh, well, there's nothing you can do with that. Don't even bother to try to look for a spool. These are nice reels. Good pond reels. They don't have ball bearings in them, or they have one ball bearing in them. Um, without the spool, obviously, it's not going to be found. No parts of it. I currently have my least favorite brand in my hand. It is a Tsunami. For whatever reasons, the quality on these are not very good. This is a Tsunami bait feeder. It's the TSB, TSBS 5000. Wow. Yeah, lots to say there. It's frozen. It's frozen. It's not, uh, not turning. Something's broken inside. Maybe what I'll do on this one, there's nothing you can do to save this one. Uh, maybe what I'll do on this one is why fishing reels fail. I just had a Tsunami Shield and uh, it's just uh, one of my least favorite reels. And again, same ideas. You have problems with the support. This one I'm going to try and find a handle for. This is a Shimano TX Plus. This is actually a nice reel. And you can see uh, if, if we have a handle that works, this reel can go back into service. It's got the quick fire to it and it's working. It's nice and smooth. It has the fighting drag. Uh, that one I'll put aside. I think we might be able to, to help that one along. Here's that other one. Well, now I got two of these. Maybe between the two of these I can make one. On a previous video, I showed you a Pen Power Graph 240 that had a bail issue with flipping and a push button that was broken off the reel, uh, preventing that from working. This one's very noisy, but you know what? It's got a, well, it should have a bail that fires, and it's got a push button spool. I think we can make two for one. Maybe we'll make a video project out of that. Oh, let's just keep on coming. Here's an Abu. Uh, this is clearly a parts reel. It's an Abu 154. There's no axle shaft in here, so somebody's already been in here uh, trying to, to get some parts. Seems like we do have a, uh, a gear set up in there, and uh, that's a, that would make a good parts reel. It's the 154 part. And what the fellow wants to do or would like to do with me is uh, he likes to trade services for parts reels. So I may or may not do that. We'll have to see. Here's a handle on a reel. That's probably not uh, very good, but I had a reel uh, before, a, um, a Quantum Blue Runner, and it looked like it had about the same size. I don't know if the pin is the same, but I had suggested that one of the ways to solve that reel was to knock out the pin on a handle and uh, replace that. And maybe we can do that. It's not, here's a Shakespeare Cirrus. I like these reels a lot. This, this one I'm not going to like because it's got a gear issue in here. You can kind of hear it. Also, oh, it has an anti-reverse. It has a bad gear in there. Uh, it's a shame that this one is a smaller sized uh, Shakespeare. If it was a larger size one, it would be an issue. These were never quality reels, but they always seem to work well. You can see that we have steel screws here that have rusted pretty badly. And I would wonder if we could even get those out of the case. Well, it's amazing what you could find at flea market uh, at uh, yard sales and garage sales if you're selling in a flea market looking for stuff. And uh, here's one. This is an SL535 by South Bend. I think this is a candidate to. to oh, we got a sticking bail. Uh, those of you that watch know it's a lot of times it's just a bent bail wire. In this case, this may be one of the ones that if you can uh, just load it up with some penetrating oil, just hit the seams of the bale, work that back and forth, you may be able to solve the issue. Oh, there's more to it than that. It's tripping, but it's not flipping. Give it one more try. Yeah, this is a bent bale wire, and I have done a video on how to solve for bent bale wires. If we bend that back into shape, we'll take the tension off this, and uh, we'll be able to get that one back to use. All right, somebody was looking for Olympic parts. I don't know exactly what they were looking for, but here's an Olympic 500 that may or may not be working. Yeah, it's, this one is, 
it's definitely grease choked and when it's getting to the bottom there's a skip in there not sure that's probably a parts reel there's a lot of these things because of cosmetics and uh, some of the other issues that you generally don't want to spend a lot of time on here's another olympic this is an olympic zebra oh this one's just totally frozen so if you get a frozen reel at a free flea market turn the rotor and see if the handle turns this one does you'll notice it's turning you can't turn it by your hand well, <laughs> without a serious amount of effort it usually means that it's grease choked and if it's grease choked we can get in there with some solvent and a bunch of gloves and dirt and, uh, and debris can be removed. You can see how it's just piled up here on the outsides of the reel. It's probably bled out. And uh, well, I'm going to put that on the pile that maybe that can be saved as well. Well, it's Olympic time. Jeez, here's an Olympic 800. I'd like to see this one working again. It's an ultralight reel. And uh, if with any luck, uh, we can get this one saved. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Okay. Very nice reel for the time. This is a Shakespeare Tiger. And again, it's on the lower end of the uh, spectrum in terms of price points. It looks like we have a handle here that is broken from the main gear or stripped from the main gear. I, uh, I actually have several of these laying around as parts reels. I put parts reels aside for these because there's a fishing club that I belong to that teaches kids to fish. And uh, one of the things that uh, they did a while ago was buy a whole bunch of these Shakespeare, Tiger, and Alpha rod and reel combinations in the 50 size reel. And, uh, well, kids break lots of things on those reels. They break the reel seat, break the bales, break the rotors, lose the, the things. But sometimes inside the case, you can find the solution to this problem, which is a main gear that's uh, stripped out. So uh, I'm going to see if I can't save that one for the, the kids at the club. And finally, here's the uh, predecessor to that one. This is another Shakespeare. This is the Alpha uh, XO50. We have a spool bottoming out. When you hear that chirp, it means when you get to the low end of the cycle, right down here, it's bumping against the bottom. It's called bottoming out. Uh, that usually can be solved with a uh, shim washer for the spool. And again, if you just watch where it is in the cycle and where you hear it, it's always on the bottom. So we can probably find a, uh, a shim washer for that spool and make that one work. Wow. So he, uh, he said uh, that I was welcome to these reels, the ones that I could fix. Uh, you know, good luck. And the other ones, have fun using them for parts. And uh, kind of, again, it's an exchange for some of the labor I do on some of the reels he gets back to sell. So I uh, hope you enjoy some of those tuition reels, a look at what it's going to take to fix some of these, and uh, look into maybe giving a few of these a second chance. To our first responders and essential personnel, thank you for everything it is that you do to keep us safe. I do appreciate all of your efforts, fire, rescue, first aid, EMTs, the list goes on and on about people that have dedicated their lives to uh, the, the, the betterment of us all. I appreciate that. To everybody, hey, have fun. Go to, to the local yard sales, flea markets, garage sales, whatever kind of events you find in your area. Pick up some reels that, well, like well, would probably never get a second chance. Use them as either tuition reels or play around with them, figure out what it's going to take to resolve the issues and get them out there fishing again. It's uh, fun to restore. It's a great project. Uh, uh, to take on for a limited uh, cost and uh, well you just build your knowledge base in terms of the uh, uh, the reels that you're working on, the types of reels and learn a little bit about how those reels are made. Kind of what this channel is about, teaching you uh, the art of reel repair and help, hoping that you uh, will give some reels a second chance. If you enjoy these types of videos again please subscribe and if you want to see more please use that notification button. This is Dennis for Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.